Alrighty, there I go. I'm watching this video, uh, actually this channel, Linus Tech Tips. This video, does high FPS or frames per second make you a better gamer featuring Shroud? Final answer. Everything he's gone over is, well, let me give you some more context. This is the first time I've seen this video. Go back right over here. Moving objects and timing in our double doors test, hit rates were way lower at 60 FPS, 60 Hertz, than at our higher refresh rates. With Look at that. Blue for the 60 frames per second or Hertz. The orangish for 144 and the green for 240. This is what Linus Tech Tips got from a uh, test including himself, uh, Shroud, and three other fellows who I have not heard of. To put it bluntly, playing on a higher hertz or refresh rate or frames per second allows more room for you to improve your skill as a gamer and that is quantifiable proof in the test that he did that he's put into that end cap if you want to watch the whole video I recommend going and watching his whole video on it I'm not gonna show more of it and you know copy his whole video on my channel that would be fucking stupid but what I am telling you is quite simply playing with higher Hertz refresh rate frames per second is better than playing on two four eight or ten K graphics there is a massive difference between graphics and refresh rate frame rate Hertz or frames per second all those things are the exact same thing just described with different words so in other words synonyms graphics just looks pretty frames per second is where you build your performance as a gamer this is why I hate anything above 1080p 1080p on graphics because the human eye can only see a highest of 10 megapixels anything over 1080p you're not seeing it it's a circle jerk fallacy just like everyone's learning in America with currency and money and how corrupt the system is it's a psychological corruption in your head where you think you need higher graphics. No, you don't need more pixels on screen. High definition? Maybe. But not more pixels on screen. What's the use in having more pixels on screen when they're not defined properly? Anyway high definition or fidelity is part of graphics but dude I don't mind playing at fucking 480 uh, pixels <laughs> uh, or screen size whatever that is you know for I don't mind playing at 480p as long as I'm getting performance out of the game Anyway, my, my TV is like 10 years old. It's running at 720, I think. Hold on. No, it's actually at 1080p. It's 16 by 9. Yeah, anyway, 1080p. 
and I think the refresh rate on my TV is somewhere around was it 60 or 120? No, probably 60. Hold on, how do I check that? Yeah, why aren't you telling me? Oh, well, it used to tell me my heart's rate. Oh, well. Anyway, I'm just going to estimate I'm still running at 60 on an Xbox One connected with an HDMI. The HDMI cord is a, as old as the TV and it still runs okay. Oh, yeah. It's the exact same TV and HDMI cable that I was playing on that uh, Call of Duty bit where I went 20 kills and one death. So at that point, it was intuition. Predicting where other people are going to be based off of psychological analysis. Which is really easy in big team battles. Yep, yeah, that, that's... that's whole nother topic. My main point for this whole video is quite simply to a certain extent in moderation the higher the frame rate and the refresh rate the more it builds um, it expands the building space for you to build more and higher levels of skill in a game and when I said that the human eye can only see 10 megapixels at its absolute best that's in the very center of your line of sight your peripheral vision the, uh, the circle around your eye that's uh, you're gonna have to ask an actual optometrist about this one they can tell you a lot more about it than I can. I just know a few basics. The peripheral vision is at best 7 megapixels. So you don't need more pixels on screen. You don't need anything above 1080. 1080 at HD is as good as you need. It's as good as you can ever hope to be able to see. and HD is high definition they run a uh, they run a, a support uh, algorithm for that on all streaming services from Twitch to YouTube to uh, Netflix they all run a uh, frequently used and most popular uh, support algorithm to stream those things in higher definition and fidelity so that you're not getting all that uh, lower quality imagery and that's to say nothing about static versus dynamic IP that, that's a whole nother thing that goes into it into the streaming side of things where you're streaming data from the servers to your console that counts for online gaming so if, if you're not getting good quality and you're getting a lot of lag it's definitely your IP static versus dynamic you need to get that situation set to static before you start messing with uh, graphics versus frame rate 
basically what I'm saying is you need all the information for the basics before you start arguing. Because I've listened to a lot of fanboys just circle jerk themselves about 2, 4, 8, and 10k graphics. Which is a fallacy. It's a circle jerk. It doesn't help you if your TV or your monitor is only running at 60 frames or refresh rate, whatever you want to call it. Plus on my TV I have gamer mode enabled which uh, cuts down, it turns off a sub feature in the TV which would otherwise display a solid black uh, frame in between the frames coming from something like a, a movie off of a DVD or a stream. That's a whole nother hot topic altogether. But that's more than just the basics. I know a few things. I'm not gonna try and cram it down your throat. I'm just gonna say here's the basics. If you can work with them, go work with them. Also, wireless just I don't do wireless it will never have the bandwidth of running a proper Ethernet cord never I've spoken with technicians from AT&T Bell South before it uh, did the merger with AT&T when that was back when dial up and DSL was a an external widget that you put on while someone picked up the phone and it crashed your internet connection entirely. That was way back in the day. I've spoken with someone from uh, Charter, which I use. I've spoken with someone... Uh, what company was it? It was a real finicky company that only works with other companies privatized uh, internet connectivity something or another that's the technical term for it they all said the same thing even within the last year they've all said the same thing <clears throat> wireless will never have the same bandwidth as running an ethernet cable an internet has up to uh, fiber optic connection which can run even more bandwidth than a standard internet connection that's where you get into terabyte sizes of download and upload speed that's something that's a whole nother beast entirely and that does have an impact on the lag between the information going from the server to your console and you seeing it on screen lag is the delay from sending the information to receiving the information kinda like how it takes a month to send them something through the United States Postal Service that's a lot of lag imagine if that was a packet of data going from a company to your screen in a whole month, someone would have already shot you in the head in the game in Call of Duty or Halo Online multiplayer or CSGO. You'd be dead a hundred thousand times over before you even loaded into the game. It makes a big difference. That's why I go wired. That's why I've got a... Well, it's out of date now, but it wasn't a couple of years ago. A Cat 7E. A few years before that, it was a Cat 5E. Uh, cat is category, and the number is the variation, or the um, what's what's the new hip buzzword term that all these companies use? Generation. That's the word. Gen 5, whatever. But as of now, I'm guessing they're up to a Cat 10E. I haven't checked. 
which would give me an even faster speed in the hardware in the hard line between putting the information from point A to point B the, the generation of cat 5, cat 6, cat 7 it's just how fast it transmits the data and the configuration in which the sublines are aligned inside the main bundle whoops I've spun off the main topic talking about all the different variables involved in the equation okay nerd may enjoy some of these basics but a lot of average gamers out there you're, you're gonna be like the fuck are you talking about rewind start over watch from the beginning write things down then go look them up sleep on it let it process in your mind overnight come back again then you'll get it it takes a while it does that's that's how studying and learning works it takes a while that's it. That's that's the end of this video. Till next time.